Hey everybody, welcome back to Surf Neat. We're doing another Thursday Thursday episode. We're here at T-Bones on Washington Road. Rachel is going to be our bartender today, so she's going to make us a couple of drinks, so let's check it out. All right, and now we're inside. Um, I'm here with Rachel, and she's going to make us three drinks. We're gonna use some local products like uh, Dirty Girl and alcohol from Second City Distillery, which is downtown Augusta. Which one are we gonna do first? Well, I think the first one we're gonna do is uh, Rachel's Royal Bomb. It's gonna be a good one to get you started. Something to get, just get you going. Having a good night. Okay, so we're gonna check that out. But before we get into that, let's talk about T-Bones a little bit. Okay. We have um, we have daily specials. Right now we create these specials that happen every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday. It kind of depends on what kind of season of the year it is. Okay, so it kind of goes along with what's like summer, we're gonna have yes. more summer drinks. Winter, we're gonna have probably more like bourbon Heavy. whiskey yes. mm -hmm. kind of things going on. Right now we have a watermelon shot that a lot of people are doing and we'll do that with a fresh watermelon when they're in season. Nice. So that's a good one. A lot of people like the watermelon martinis. Right. Watermelon Long Island teas. Watermelon is the thing to go, I guess, right now, right? <laughs> Everybody kind of loves that. Well, what about food specials? Do you have like a happy hour on we do. food also? We do. So in the bar every day from two to seven, we will have, we have specials on wings, tommy fries, we've got ahi tuna, which is delicious. Nice. Of course, we have daily specials that right. are meals. Right, so definitely right. you wanna to come to the bar and check that out here. Um, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. This one's not too. <laughs> um, so what about, what about you? How long have you been here? Because you're actually the bar manager here. I am the bar manager, yes. I have been with T-Bones. This would have been my 15th Masters. Oh, wow. So, wow. It's a great company to work for. I have done managing and catering. I'm actually the event planner too. Nice. So we have a um, catering hall next door. That's its own separate building. We have parties in there, all kinds of events. Um, so I run that, and then I also run the bar, and I get to have fun with all of my bartenders. One but I've, yeah, I've been um, hostess, manager, bartender, server. I've kind of moved up the, the ranks and around. And then you can, um, if you wanted to book like a party or event, what is the best phone number to do, get to? 706-363-5196. We'll put that down below, so if you're interested in booking something, you can call her and um, yeah. Oh, email, can you email also? You can or? also email Washington uh, T-Bones at WashingtonRoad.com um, and there's actually catering information on Facebook. Nice, awesome. So just T-Bones Catering on Facebook. Yep, and I'll, again, we'll link that down below, okay? Um, okay, so let's talk about the drinks a little bit. Okay. Um, the first one was called what? Uh, Rachel's Royal Bomb. Rachel's Royal Bomb. We're gonna try that out right now. So today we're gonna be making this Royal Bomb. We have, um, it's kind of evolved a little bit. It's just like a Royal Flush, but we're adding a few extra things to it. So we have called it the Rachel's Royal Bomb. I am Rachel. I've been here long enough to, uh, to deserve a drink, I guess. And it's one of my favorite drinks to go out in. Pretty much, you just fill up your cup with the ice. It's got crown and peach schnapps in there. Equal parts, I guess that could help. And then we'll do a little bit more orange juice. We'll do a splash of the crayon. And then basically, splash the Red Bull. <laughs> so you don't want to shake this drink just because it has all the Red Bull in it. Um, you can add extra Red Bull in it. Uh, depending on your level of energy that you're gonna need for the night, but it's a great drink to start off with. So now we're gonna try it. It's not very alcohol forwarding. It's it's very sweet and smooth. It's um, it's almost like you um, eating a peach itself. Very. I don't want to say creamy, but it's, it's like an actual it's it's an actual peach that you're drinking. Mm -hmm. uh, it does have alcohol in it. So that's very nice, and um, the Red Bull. So get that when you first start going out. Mm -hmm. And you're able um, to rock and roll for the rest of the night. And it, it'll sneak up on you too, so you can drink a few of those things. I, I, I can imagine. Not realizing how good it's gonna do for you. Tastes good, it's tastes good. fantastic, yeah, yeah thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, and now we're gonna try our second drink, Citrus Bliss, and it's made with Second City Distillery Vodka. Um, so we're gonna try that now. All 
All right, so for this drink, it is the Second City, which is local to Augusta. Um, we are going to be making a citrus bliss. So basically, we're just pouring in our vodka. And then what we do is we will squeeze an orange. Or you can muddle it as well. Either one works for you. A lemon. And a lime. We squeeze all those juices out of there. And then we'll take our shaker. And pretty much what that does is it just infuses the vodkas with the, uh, the lemon, lime, and orange. Pour the ice just back on in there. Top it off with soda. Simple drink. That's it. All done. Very simple for the summertime. Um, light on calories. The only sugars that are in here are the natural sugars from the fruits so um it's more like an unsweetened lemonade type flavored drink if you're looking for something sweet this is not the flavor that you're looking for but if you're looking for a diet low calorie type drink that tastes really good and refreshing here you are all right so let's try a second drink right here and again we use second city distillery um we used our vodka and um, recently we just made a video with them also so check that out we'll put it right there so you can click on it and we'll put it down below so you can watch it after after this video so you definitely want to continue watching it okay um, so a light crisp summer drink mm -hmm. lemonade it is almost like um, with the soda that you put in there, it's almost like um, Selzlers. The Selzlers that are out right now, they're out everywhere and it tastes like that. It tastes very good. It, it has a, uh, yeah, it tastes like Selzlers. So if you're on a diet, you don't want all that sugar, all, all that extra stuff in there. Very nice, clean, crisp taste to it. So if you have diabetes, no extra, extra sugar added to it. So definitely drink that, check it out. Yeah, it's like it's a, one of our more like popular a, items throughout the year too, just because it's low calorie. It uh, if tastes, you're looking for sweet, though, it's like a truly. It, it's good. You can make and you could do it with all kinds of fruits too. We just have lemon, lime, and orange. Yeah. You know, but if you want no, to squeeze good. up anything right. else, if you want to squeeze up that watermelon in the summertime, <laughs> I'm sure we could try that too. Put a raspberry or a blackberry in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I got some blueberries in the house. Let me try that. Very nice. Next on the list is going to be a Bloody Mary, and we're making it with Tito's and Dirty Girls. And Dirty Girls is one of the local companies that we have here in Augusta, also. Um, but we'll make it specifically with Tito's here. It's because you have to do a lot with Tito's. Tito's is probably our biggest selling vodka that we have here. And Masters Week, they come in and they do actually they don't they make donations to a local charity of our choice for every Tito's that we sell Masters Week they will donate a certain percentage to this charity, which is an amazing, amazing cause. So, yes. so we push the Tito's. Uh, I love it when companies can come together and just help out for the overall cause. So um, let's jump right into it and um, let's check it out. All right, sounds good. All right, so now we're gonna be making this Tito's, or the Tito's Bloody Mary, and we're using the medium mix from the Dirty Girl. They have different levels, so of course we can make it hotter and we can make it, um, a little bit more spicy, just kind of depends on your flavor. We do a salted rim. Shake that up a little bit. Look at that, oh, looks so good. Great, uh, this is a great drink to have the morning after. And this is just a basic medium. I'm not adding any extra spices to it. And that one is garnished with a lime, some olives. Some people like to have it with the celery. And some people even like a little bacon in there. And there you are. Oh, how does that look? So now we're gonna try this Bloody Mary. And a uh, quick dis disclaimer, as you know, um, I'm not a very big Bloody Mary drinker, but the only thing that I would drink a Bloody Mary with is Dirty Girls, and it's, I think the product is very, very fantastic, even the one with the, uh, 
my favorite one is the horseradish mm -hmm. one. Um, so we are gonna try this Bloody Mary and it's gonna be great, I already know. Um, but even for people that don't like Bloody Marys, try this. And um, I mean, if you look at our posts and on Instagram, you can tell that I'm not lying about it, so. <laughs> And that one is actually a lot less heartburn from what I've, um, some of the feedback that I've gotten. Okay, there you go. So let's try it. I like that you have a lot of nothing in there. Cool. <laughs> I'm like, mm, this work. Had to find the perfect piece of bacon. <laughs> this would be perfect after a hard night of drinking. Uh, get yourself a Bloody Mary. It looks fantastic. I don't know. You Show you the picture. Now, do y'all have different ones? We don't. We did at one point, but some of the hot were too hot for our people. Yeah, they, and they get. So we figured we'll just go medium and make it hot for the ones that want it hot. There you go. Add a little bit of uh, Tabasco. Or... We've got horseradish too, the raw that we can throw in mm -hmm. there. We've got uh, the Worcestershire and the salt, you know, the, or the pepper, I'm sorry. But yeah, we can, we can make it a little hotter and a little bit more extreme. There you go. Fantastic drinks. Come and check them out. Now, how often are you actually behind the bar or? Yes, I'm actually a working bartending manager. So nice. that way I get to see what people are needing, what they're requesting. And you, you're with the crowd and you can kind of tell and instead of just guessing and you can see what really sells. Right. What people want, what people ask for instead of somebody else saying and you just hearing about it. Right. So definitely check it out, come by. As for Rachel, uh, she's gonna be behind the bar and making sure everything is correct. And I just wanna thank y'all for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Press the subscribe button down below. Um, and as always, serve it neat. I'm very sorry about that. Thank you. No, it's okay. If you wanna sit right here, I will eat your food. I seen the light. I was like, what the hell is the light? I'm not paying any. Why are you so worried?